word dissecting mean? We're gonna be dissecting numbers, but we're not gonna be able to do it unless we know what it means. When we have each digit, digit, excuse me, representing a certain place or a specific place. You still what? Um, it's like um when we were Skyping the scientist, she said with the microscope, she looked inside some animals. She looked inside a house. Yeah, with a microscope. Way. The microscope. Oh, my. No, no, no. A microscope is just used to make things that are really small and really big. That's a microscope, yeah. But that's not used to dissect things. That's just used to look at really small things. Well, yeah, but, but she, she, like, looked through one to... So, if I were to write the number 242 in standard form, that would look like this. 242. 242. Very normal, how we would normally write it. Liam, please do not scribble on your board. That's how we're used to seeing numbers. There's another form that we use. We don't use it very often, but it's called written form. Go ahead and write that down. Written form. Written form. Written. Like. Written form is exactly what it sounds like. You are writing writing out the number in words. So if you see a number in written form, that just means that number is written using words. So again, the number 242 in written form would look like this. 200, the actual words. 42. But neither of these 
these ways look inside a number. Yes. So that's going to be the way that we're going to use to look inside a number. And it is called expanded form. Yep, go ahead and write that down. A lot of you have had experience with expanded form. Raise your hand if you have used expanded form before in second grade. Yeah, that should be a lot of you. I don't I... You might remember when we look at it. So expanded form is when you write out the value of each digit in a number. So expanded form is when you are writing out the actual value of that digit. So for instance, we'll still play with 242. That first two is in a very specific spot. How much is that first two actually worth? Because it's not worth two. Really? 200. So I'm going to write out the number 200. And then I'm going to put a plus sign because that's not all my number. There's still more things. 200 plus, let's look at my next digit, that 4. How much is that 4 really worth? Dominic? It's really 40. And I know that that is not the end of my number, so I'm going to do another plus sign. And then I have that last two, which is my one. How much is that last two worth? One. Is that worth one? Two. Yeah. It's worth two. So 200 plus 40 plus two, that is the same number, same value as 242. But it have broken it apart so I can really see each digit's value. It's all coming back to you now. I can see it. So tell me again, what is expanded for? You just wrote it down. What is expanded form? Actually, better yet, tell someone at your table. What is expanded for? You are writing out. You already have this written down. You don't need to write it down again. The value of each digit. If you're not sure of the value of each digit, we can look at what is called place value. You will need to write this down. We've talked about it, but we're going to do it again. Place value. Remember, place value are those special places where numbers can go to show how much they are worth. We're going to talk about four places. So go ahead and draw four little lines horizontal lines next to each other. If I have a digit in my far right place, that digit is worth what? If I have a digit in the far right place, what is that digit worth? Eliana? One. That is my ones place. If I'm building that number with base 10 pieces, the digit there is the number of bits, little squares, I'm going to use. My next place, next to my ones, is not ones. What is that worth? Really? Tens. If I am building with my base 10 pieces, those are those rods that I'm using. I need 10 ones to make one ten. 
What is next to my tens, Liam? Hmm? What's next to my tens? Next to your tens? Yep, to the left of my tens. One. To the left, other side. Oh, and my hundred. Hundred is on the other side. How many tens does it take to make one hundred? Gavin? Ten. Ten. Do you notice the pattern? You need ten ones to make a ten. You need ten tens to make a hundred. How many hundreds do you think you need to make a thousand? Ten? Right? Nope. I mean, ten. Ten. Just ten. And that means our next place, our last place that we're going to focus on this year, is our thousand. There, please stop talking over me. You can just put that on my table. There is a comma in between the hundreds and the thousands. And we do that for a couple of reasons. First, our brain likes to group things. That's why you're so good at skip counting. And our brain's really good at grouping things in small numbers. Two, threes, fours, fives. Which is why your telephone number is not one long string of numbers. It's broken into a group of three and a group of four. Because your brain can remember that easier. Same works with our numbers. If we group them here as a little mini group of three, our brain can remember that a lot easier than just one long giant number. So every third place we put a comma, kind of help our brain out. You've seen that, yes? Yeah. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to practice some expanded form. If you need to turn the page, you can. I'm going to do it a couple of different ways. Liam, go ahead and erase your space so you can build this number with us. Do you have an eraser? Expanding first is 652. Write that number in standard form. 652. Nope, I very specifically said standard form. I actually meant kind of saying standard and expanded because they sound alike. Okay. Alright, we're going to start at the left side of my number. So I want you to underline that 6 and then draw an arrow. What is that 6 worth? Gavin? Hundreds. Not worth one hundred. What how many hundreds? It's worth six hundreds because it's in that hundreds place. So we're gonna write out the number six hundred. Plus. Because that's not where our number ends. Underline that five and draw an arrow. What is that five worth? Grace? That five is really worth five tens, a.k.a. 50. We're going to write 50. And then lastly, we're going to underline that two. What is that two worth? Autumn? Two. It's just my ones. Those two numbers look different. Smell different. Taste different. But they are equal. They have the same value. All right, we're going to do another one, but we're going to do it a little bit different. 712. Go ahead and write it in standard form. This time we're going to do expanded form out to the side. This is how we will normally do expanded form. It's to the right of that number. So we're going to practice it right now. Let's start with the farthest place to the left. The three-digit numbers. We're going to start in the hundreds. Lucy, what's that first digit worth? 700 plus what comes next? What comes next? Bottom? And... What comes next, Brayden? Two. This is how I want you writing expanded form. Standard form, 
and then expand it form right next to each other. Does that make sense? So when I ask you for expanded form, this is what I want it to look like. Okay? Show this one. 304. Oh. 304. This one's a little tricky. Because there is a zero in this number. 304. <coughs> 304. Start with our furthest most digit. It's the three. What is that three worth? Come next. 300 less. What comes next? Zero. Right? So do I need to write the zero? Don't need to, like, I do not need to write zero because anything plus zero is still going to be the same. I recommend you still do it. It'll help to keep things in order. I'm going to write zero, zero because ten normally has two digit numbers. But I could skip that and my numbers still work out. Alright, let's go on to our one. What is our ones worth in the number 304? Bailey? Four. This is it in expanded four. Ready a question? Two. Put it in standard form first. 2,722. And then we will expand it out to the side. Please write on the line. I don't know why some of you are writing gigantic. Why? No, no, no. You don't need to do all that. Alright, let's start with our leftmost place. What is that going to be worth in this number? Gavin? 2,000. 2,000. I'm going to write the number 2,000. Plus, move on to the next place. Annabella, what's my next place? Seven hundred. That seven in that number represents seven hundred. Plus, what comes next? Ethan? Twenty. Twenty. That next two represents twenty. And then what is our last place worth, Arwen? A two. Just two. Just two. Alright, we're going to do one more on your own. The number that you are doing on your own is 4,839. Please write that in standard form and then expand it to the side. Do you need me to repeat the number? You got it. Okay. 